Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the satanic panic again, still, whatever you want to say. Um, it actually leaked into every pore of life when I was growing up. So let's go. The very real panic was exploited by some fiction writers. Paperback presses made tons of money by capitalizing on heartbreaking events like the McMartin preschool trial. Russ Martin authored a series of horror novels that captured these societal anxieties and were published between 1978 and 1988. Just for clarification, I am not saying that you shouldn't be able to make money where you see you can make money, but you shouldn't pick stuff like this, especially heartbreaking tragedy like the McMartin trial. Along with every novel ever written, these books reflected the culture of the time, especially the fears about feminism and the complex view of gender relations. The Rust series portrays female protagonists who are stripped of self-respect and forced to be sex slaves for a group of Satanists known as the Organization. After the 60s and 70s, the pendulum swung to the other side in America, ultra-conservatism. Feminists were divided between sex positivity and the war on pornography. Martin reflects this friction in his novels. Martin wrote from the female perspective. He is not the first male author in the genre to write from the female perspective, but his novels give readers the opportunity to really comprehend the deep emotional and sexual turmoil of his characters. The Martin series was initiated by Playboy, which, after a financially disastrous 1975, started appealing to the female population. Somehow, Martin's novels ended up appealing to both sexes, which saved Playboy in 1976. Martin presents women as having conflicted feelings about sex, taking it to the extreme when he introduces the mind control that changes women against their will under the organization where they were trapped and traded as sex slaves. This reflected the hysteria in America at the time about satanic brainwashing, breeding, and exploitation of women. Middle America was convinced that the devil threatened the sanctity of the home while luring women and children to the dark side. Martin's books exploited fears about lack of control, the changing social scene, and conflicts about sex and gender. The conflicts about sex and gender is personified in Wanda Carmichael, who used to be a heterosexual man. Martin both punishes and celebrates gender roles. He accomplishes this by making females have atypical qualities, but also writing them as having to accept their femininity by degradation and humiliation. Martin revisits the theme of the Universal Organization in the Obsession of Sally Wing, 1983, which includes child abduction, human trafficking, forced prostitution, and torture, all of which were huge social concerns in the 1980s. Playboy, the initial publisher of the series, had complex gender politics, simultaneously endorsing women's rights, 
going so far as to financially contribute to fem feminist causes like abortion while also objectifying women. Finally, in the possession of Jessica Young, we see what was probably one of the root causes of the panic, male anxiety about female agency and a caution about liberated women. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to know when I come out with new content, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. If notifications are not working, I usually have something out every day. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this episode. Question everything and never be afraid. Remember, the world has never advanced without people asking questions. Here are a few videos from my library. If you have not watched them, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends, goodbye.